So back in the early days of the Second World War, there was a very precarious naval situation in the far North Atlantic. The German Navy was threatening the supply lines of shipping going from Great Britain and the US of A to the Soviet Union. It was under these conditions that the British T-class submarine, the HMS Trident set sail on a combat cruise in the summer of 1941. The HMS Trident had been laid down in January of 37, and was commissioned on the 1st of October, 1939. She soon went to war with Commander Geoffrey Sladen serving as her captain. In May of 1940 the Trident saw its first combat action, when she engaged a German supply ship along the Norwegian coast, and destroyed it. When the HMS Trident set sail in August of 1941, part of her mission was to sail with several other Royal Navy submarines to the northern Soviet port of Murmansk. With the Allies planning to increase the supplies being sent to aid the Soviet war effort along this route, they wanted these Royal Navy crews to meet and establish some rapport with the Soviet counterparts they would be working with. The Soviets were thrilled to have these guests, and hosted them in celebratory dinner before they departed. During the course of the dinner, Commander Sladen was speaking with some Soviet admirals, and mentioned that his wife, back in England, was having trouble pushing their baby carriage around in the heavy snow that had fallen during the prior winter. One of the admirals promptly responded, what you need is a reindeer. Sladen, understandably, thought the gregarious Soviet admiral, was saying it in jest. Soon however several Soviet sailors arrived with a real reindeer calf. Several of Commander Sladen's peers mentioned that refusing the gift might give offense to the Soviet officers, so he accepted it. The following morning the calf ended up, becoming the 57th crew member of the Little Reindeer Calf, which the submarine crew named Pollyanna, was inserted aboard the submarine via a torpedo tube. They also loaded in a large bale of moss that the Soviets had supplied for her to eat on her voyage. Somewhat surprisingly, the torpedo room was to be converted into her quarters aboard the submarine as well. Pollyanna ignored that bed they set up there, and instead chose to spend her journey under Commander Sladen's bunk. Over the following six weeks, as the Trident patrolled the waters around Norway, Pollyanna was soon an inseparable part of the crew and their ship's mascot. In short order she learned the schedule on the submarine, and whenever surfacing was announced, the reindeer went to the conning tower hatch, knowing it was time to play in the fresh air on the deck, and then returning to her quarters. Pollyanna's supply of moss ran out well before the Trident had finished its patrol, so she was fed on the table scraps from the galley. She also learned to rummage the trash bins. In one potentially catastrophic foraging expedition, Pollyanna found and ate some navigational charts. Fortunately the crew was familiar enough with the area that it didn't hinder their operations. By the end of the patrol, Pollyanna had plumped up considerably, and it was found she could no longer fit through the torpedo tube she had been brought on through. At the port in England they summoned the local slaughterman, who was able to rig up a truss to safely secure her, and she was winched up with a hoist out of a deck hatch. At that point the crew bid farewell to Pollyanna, who then went on to live at the London Zoo. The zookeepers noticed that when anything with a siren went by, she would duck her head, a behavior she had picked up watching the submarine crew instinctively ducking their heads when warning sirens went off. The HMS Trident ended up patrolling the waters of the North Atlantic for another two years, and in one of her most famous actions engaged and heavily damaged the German heavy cruiser Prince Eugen.
In late spring of 1943 she was briefly deployed to the Mediterranean for a few patrols, sinking five enemy vessels. From summer of 43 until the end of the war the Trident operated in the Pacific theater against the Imperial Japanese Navy. Her final combat action was sinking a Japanese landing craft off of the Indonesian Batu Islands on 16 June, 1945. Following the end of the war the Trident was decommissioned. In February 1946 she was sold and scheduled to be scrapped. Shortly after her hull had been cut apart in Newport, Wales, its most famous crew member, Pollyanna, passed away 150 miles to the east at the London Zoo.